Hey ladies, let me show you how I did this clean and natural makeup look. Perfect for the on the go, quick and easy makeup look that you know we all need. If you're interested, stay tuned to the video. Let's clean up these brows first. I'm gonna use Morphe's Micro Brow Pencil in the color Java. I have a makeup tutorial video where I reviewed uh, the Micro Brow Pencil and like the Supreme Brows by Morphe. I will link that right here on the iCard if you are interested in seeing that video I need to clean up my brows clean up on aisle 9 so I'm just tweezing them really quickly I have a updated brow routine video I will link that in the iCard as well if you want to see how I maintain my brows I am going in with a black eyeliner. I want to intensify my brows and kind of give me an ombre look, but that black is going to tie in my hair that I'm going to put on when I'm done with my makeup. Now you do not have to carve out your brows with concealer. I just like this look, especially when I put it on makeup. You could do just a little bit, but it's all about the type of concealer you put on. You can put liquid, you can put cream, but also the color. So if you get a concealer color that's closer to your skin tone, it's gonna look more natural. The lighter, it's gonna look more defined and dramatic. And that's what I was going for today because as y'all gonna see a little later, my lashes were more bold and fabulous. I like to use a skin tone concealer as my eyeshadow base, so I'm using Juvia's Place Concealer. This is the number 8. It matches my skin tone completely. It's full coverage. You can't beat it. I am in love with this product. Now I'm going to set my eyebrows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. It's very soft, but it ensures that the product stays on my brows and that they do not move throughout the day. I'm gonna use my Airspun Loose Face Powder to set that concealer and make sure that concealer doesn't crease throughout the day. You have to prime your face. So I really like this Milk Makeup Matte Mattifying Pore Minimizer Primer. It's really nice. I'm just gonna rub it into the areas that I'm going to apply my makeup. And I'm going to also set it with that air spun to ensure that that primer is pressed into my skin and does its job throughout the day. I saw the number seven skin illuminator primer in my bag. I was like, oh, let me pop this out real quick. So I'm gonna pop that on my face and I'm gonna set that as well. This is a really nice product to give you like a natural glow finish on your skin. You do not have to use this. That milk makeup primer will work just fine. My favorite lashes right now are these Press and Go lashes by I Envy. These are their Glam Day in the Style Bowl. I use a long cluster and then the rest are all medium. Y'all, these are my favorite lashes. 
follow me on Instagram because I'm doing reviews over there um, with these lashes. Make sure you check those videos and my stories out. So let's take my concealer by Juvia's Place. I'm going to apply it on my problem areas of my skin. That's my under eyes, a little bit in between my eyebrows, and a little bit of my cheeks. And I'm going to blend that out. And I'm also going to go back in with a second coat of that concealer under my under eye bags. Because those bags are serious, okay? And um, I like to minimize that when I put on makeup. Setting that concealer, baking that away, because I do not want this concealer to crease. If you do not put some type of loose setting powder on your concealer, it's going to crease and it's going to look a hot mess. So I'm going to apply my Sephora face powder all over my entire face to one wipe away that setting powder but also give my face an even skin tone finish. I'm going to set it with my Patrick Star setting spray. For my lip I'm using NARS Dolce Viva, I believe that's the name beautiful color this color is by mac i will list all the products in the description box below Alrighty, ladies, what do you think of the makeup? I love it. Um, this is perfect. Really quick, very simple. Now you can doll it up and do whatever you want, like blush and highlighter, or just put foundation on. Don't put the concealer. But like you saw in the video, I just put the concealer underneath my eye, on my nose, and right here. And then I put my face powder all over my face. And um, that's it. I added this lipstick. I have no eyeliner, no eyeshadow, nothing else. And I did take my time on my brows. I really wanted my brows to look a little bit more put together, especially with this jet black hair. I have a hair video showing y'all this wig. Quick update about it. I'm going to put the eye card right here. Go ahead and check that video out. I cut the hair. Um, it was just a little too long for me. Um, I love this wig even more with it being cut and I did a lot more layers. Y'all know me, I like to frame my face and give it a little bit more volume. I just think it's more flattering on my face. So, if y'all like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let your girl know other makeup videos or any videos you want. I will try to create them for you. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed to the channel. If you made it this far, you 
you right there you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe join the diva squad we we are we out here we a squad we are a tribe trying to support each other and living our best versions of our lives without breaking the bank if that's you go ahead subscribe to the channel i'll see y'all real soon with a brand new video bye